Recently, a customer told me he wanted to be able to turn off all selection highlighting, including the red bounding box, but still only see specific objects clearly. So I showed him a way to do it, and I thought to myself, this would be a handy little tip for a Toddcast. So here it is. Basically, the default application preferences has highlighting turned on. This can be handy, but sometimes, especially with a lot of geometry, it can be confusing. So let's go over some of the options to make it a bit clearer. First, I basically like to work with highlighting turned off. To me, I don't like the green flashing while I'm rolling over the mouse. And you can do that here in the application preferences. Now this said, this does not necessarily affect the behavior in the player. So by default, it'll still be on in the player. So I'll show you a couple ways to turn it off in a little bit. Next, again, by default, you'll get a nice yellow highlight when an object is selected in smooth shaded and render mode. Once you change the modes, however, and the system calculates the outlines, by changing the modes, you'll get a red bounding box with dotted orange lines of the object. And unless, of course, you're in assembly selection, which you'll get a blue selection. So these dotted lines can also be confusing with a lot of geometry. So let's look at some of the options. First, in the viewport properties, you can turn off highlighting and or selection. And this will be active when you take it out of design mode. This really helped the customer already, but we wanted a little bit more. So you can note if I put a link on an object, it will still highlight green out of design mode. Again, on a large assembly with lots of links, it may be difficult to separate what's actually highlighted. So instead of linking the parts, we added hotspots. And adding a hotspot can help clarify your selections. So let's add a hotspot to this clutch wheel. And now I'll link it to a view. Now I'll select the case and add another hotspot, change it to red with another link. And we can change the name as well if we want on the hotspot. So hotspots are really nice in the player. So here you see the nice blue and the nice red and also the name of the hotspot. So here's your tip for the day. Hopefully it'll make your end user experience even more enjoyable. <laughs>